Welcome. So today I thought I would show you how to cheese Commander Nile here in Castle Soul. So we are in Castle Soul here in the mountaintop of the, the Giants. You know, it's the castle over here. There's a mausoleum right out here. And so I uh, started here from the Church of the Eclipse, which is just right through that door there. That's where the Sight of Grace is. Uh, if you just come out that door, you got to watch out. There's a banished knight that'll chase you. But if you just run over here to this ladder and climb up it, you should get away from him. Fine. Uh, once you cross over to the bridge here, there'll be two of these big wolves as well as a uh, banished knight. So you'll need to deal with them before you can do this. But what you need to do is you need to have a bow and some poison arrows. Now, when I was doing the checking on this um what i did was uh basically you stand here and you see this particular little opening right here this second one if you move back and forth you can see something red that's him so what you need to do is um i fired a regular arrow at him and he came you know he aggroed and came towards the the wall here and was yelling and you could see him he called forth his banished knights he's got two banished knights that fight with him um but they all stayed up in the area where uh, you can see the fog wall is right there uh, you can't just barely can't make it out because this is uh, in the way there but um but they just stayed right there so you could see his head so you could easily just shoot arrows at his head uh, but um what I also did was I tried poison arrows, and if you use strictly poison arrows, I was able to hit him and get him poisoned, and he did not aggro. So so that's what we're going to try and do here. So I've got a bow, I've got a bunch of poison arrows and some rot arrows on, so I'm just going to go ahead and try and hit him. So that was a rot arrow, but you see he's not aggroing. Rotted him again. I wonder if he's immune to rot. Yeah, he must be immune. Okay. Well, we're going to poison him then. It takes a few arrows to get the poison going. I think it, it was five or six. There we go. Got it going on. Okay. So now we'll just wait. And let him tick down. Now, when I first did it, uh, you know, his boss health bar came up just like it would normally. Uh, now it's not. Uh, not really sure why, but, um, you know, we're just going to go ahead and just see how this goes. Because, um, again, you know, I thought about not showing this, but, you know, really, when you think about it, this is patch 1.07 times, so I mean... It's November, and this thing came out in, what, February, March, something like that? So, I mean, the developers know about this, and, I mean, if they want to patch this out, they can patch it out. So, they haven't done it. So, obviously, this is something they're aware of, and they're okay with it. You know, which, you know, if they're okay with it, I'm okay with it. So, um, ideally, I think what they really want you to do is just go in there and fight him normally, uh, he has, like I said, the two banished knights, and what you will see is, as he calls them up, uh, if, you know, really what will help you out a lot is if you have one of those bewitching branches, uh, you, well, actually, I recommend two of them, <laughs> you know, you can use one on, on one of them, and then use the other on the other one, uh, and basically what happens is when you do that, you turn them against him. All right, so stopped so we'll just 
line it all back up. Yeah, missed it. There we go. Got it. Okay, there we go. So anyway, so, yeah, I thought that was, you know, kind of interesting that, you know, they allow this uh, to happen. But like I said, you know, the idea is that you go in there, he summons four of his two banished knights, and then you fight all three of them, and you have your summon. But you can use the bewitching branch to turn both of his summons, the banished knights, against him, uh, which really will make it a pretty trivial fight at that point because i mean the banished knights they're pretty tough uh, so yeah so i think that's definitely something to you know keep in mind uh you know if you choose not to do this um you know again you know this is just a you know another option that's available to you so yeah so again as you can see it's not ticking down really really quick but you know it is ticking down somewhat i mean it's a shame it doesn't seem like rot works with them because rot would really help uh, but if you want to put something on that's going to increase the effectiveness of the poison you could certainly do that some sort of talisman of some sort i'm sure they have so yeah uh, you know you can put something on that's going to increase the range if you don't have a good range uh bow don't necessarily know that you need to increase the uh, damage output. You know, don't you need to use that damage output for Bo's talisman, but you know, it's there. So again, we'll just get him started here. Three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. No, oh, no. There we go. Well, that took a few more than I thought it would. But yeah, so there you see. So there you go. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here because I've been able to show you what I wanted to show you. And, you know, you can easily do this yourself. You know, you don't need to watch, you know, me spend 20 minutes sitting here trying to poison this guy. But anyway, I hope you found that useful. Again, you know, discuss the, you know, bewitching branch and, you know, think that's probably really the better option for you. But, you know, if you want to also, you know, kind of weaken him a bit and then go in through the fog wall, you could certainly do that as well. So anyway, I hope you found it useful. I hope it helps. And I hope that you're doing good and hope you're, you know, fixing to have a great Thanksgiving because, you know, it's coming up here. It's a uh, Tuesday here. So, you know, uh, when I'm recording this, so hopefully, uh, you, you know, you have a great Thursday and I hope, you know, you have a nice long weekend if you're able to do that and, you know, spend time with friends and family and everything. And all that good stuff. So I will talk to you later. Bye for now.